Welcome, to ViewChem, the Chemistry Animations Channel. Crystal Field Theory Crystal Field Theory basically explains about, the interactions between the transition metal, and, the ligands. It deals with, the splitting of degenerate D, or, F, orbitals. By applying this theory, we can explain, the color, and, the magnetic properties of transition metal complexes. There are five d orbitals. These are dxy, dyz, dzx, dx square minus y square, and dz square. Please note that dxy, dyz, and dzx are spread in between the axes, while dx square minus y square and dz square are spread along the axes. When the ligands with negative charge or neutral ligands with more electron density approach the metal ion containing electrons in the d orbitals, there takes place interactions between the metal ion and the ligands. As a result, the splitting of degenerate d orbitals takes place. This is due to the repulsions between the electrons in the d orbitals of the metal, and, the electrons in the ligands. The d orbitals, nearer to the ligand, experience more magnitude of repulsions, hence, acquire higher energy, while, the ligands which are little away to the d orbitals, experience lesser magnitude of repulsions. So, they acquire less energy. The factors that affect the splitting of d orbitals are nature of the metal atom or metal ion nature of the ligand oxidation state of the metal or metal ion coordination number of the metal or metal ion and arrangement of ligands octahedral splitting in the case of complexes having coordination number 6 that is in the octahedral complexes the six ligands approach from the both the sides along the x, y, and z axes. Isolated metal atom with five degenerate d orbitals ligands approaching the metal as a consequence metal acquires little higher energy there takes place interactions between the metal ion and ligands as a consequence Splitting of d orbitals takes place. The dx square minus y square and dz square orbitals are spread along the axes. In the octahedral complexes, ligands approach the metal along the axes. So, the repulsions among the electrons of the ligand and the electrons in the dx square minus y square and dz square orbitals of the transition metal experience more repulsions. Hence, these two d orbitals acquire high energy. These are eg orbitals and have same energy. The other three, d orbitals, dxy, dyz, and dzx, are spread in between the axes. So, experience less repulsions. Hence have low energy. These are t2g orbitals. All the three t2g orbitals also have same energy. Tetrahedral splitting Tetrahedral complex can be visualized in the following manner. In a cube, imagine the metal at the center, and the four ligands on the four corners of the cube, with tetrahedral geometry. In the tetrahedral complex, the ligands approach the metal through such an angle which is relatively nearer to, dxy, dyz, 
and dzx. So, these orbitals acquire higher energy. While, the electrons in the dx square minus y square, and, dz square, experience less repulsions, thus acquire less energy. Isolated metal atom, with 5, Degenerate d orbitals. Ligands, approaching the metal. As a consequence, metal acquires little higher energy. There takes place interactions between the metal ion and ligands. As a consequence, splitting of d orbitals takes place. The three d orbitals, dxy, dyz, and, dxz, experience more repulsions. Hence, acquire high energy. The dx square minus y square, and, dz square orbitals, experience less repulsions. Hence, acquire less energy. Square planar complexes. In square planar complexes also, the coordination number is 4, like tetrahedral complexes. Four ligands, bond to central metal, from the four corners of the square, in the same plane. Hence, the name square planar. The important aspect regarding the square planar complexes is that, the ligands approach the metal ion through x and y axes only. As, dx square minus y square orbital is spread along the x and y axes, experiences maximum repulsions. So, acquires highest energy. Next, dxy, has lesser energy than, dx square minus y square. Because the lobes of the orbitals are spread in between x and y axes. It is interesting to note that, dz square orbital has slightly more energy than dyz, and, dzx, orbitals. Because, the donut-like part of dz square orbital lies on the x, and, y, axes. Both dyz, and, dzx, experience least repulsions. So, they have the least energy. Thanks for watching. Please, like, subscribe, and share.